Throughout history, humanity has grappled with conflict. War, a brutal dance of strategy and deception, has shaped empires and defined destinies. But victory rarely comes easy. It demands cunning, foresight, and a deep understanding of the enemy. Enter Sun Tzu, a legendary Chinese military strategist who lived around the 5th century BC. His wisdom, captured in a timeless text called The Art of War, has transcended battlefields for millennia. Is it just a manual for war? Or does it hold secrets, applicable to any competitive situation? Join us as we delve into this enigmatic book and explore the enduring power of Sun Tzu's strategies. Little is known for certain about Sun Tzu, or Master Sun, as he is often called. He likely lived during the Warring States period, a chaotic era of constant warfare between rival Chinese kingdoms. Legend has it that Sun Tzu served as a military advisor, his brilliance unmatched. Whether fact or fiction, his ideas resonated deeply, passed down through generations, in whispers and scrolls. The art of war itself is a collection of aphorisms and strategies, its authorship shrouded in mystery. But its impact is undeniable. Translated into countless languages, the book has been studied by military leaders, business executives, and anyone seeking an edge in a competitive world. Sun Tzu was a legendary Chinese military general, strategist, and philosopher who lived during the Eastern Zhou period. Little is known about his life, but his teachings in the art of war have left an indelible mark on history. At its heart, the art of war isn't just about winning battles. It's about achieving victory with minimal cost. Sun Tzu emphasizes deception, psychological warfare, and knowing your enemy. He advocates for outsmarting your opponent, for maneuvering them into a position of weakness, and ultimately achieving victory without a single battle. This famous quote encapsulates Sun Tzu's philosophy. The ideal war is the one that never happens, the one where your opponent surrenders before the first arrow flies. But Sun Tzu understands the inevitability of conflict. He dedicates chapters to tactics, troop formations, and adapting to changing situations. He emphasizes the importance of knowing the terrain, understanding your own strengths and weaknesses, and exploiting those of your enemy. This profound statement highlights the importance of self-awareness and intelligence gathering. The art of war extends far beyond the battlefield. Its principles have been applied to countless aspects of human competition. Business leaders use Sun Tzu's strategies for negotiation and market domination. Chess players analyze their moves through a Sun Tzuian lens. Politicians employ his tactics to outmaneuver their opponents. Deception is a cornerstone of Sun Tzu's philosophy. He encourages creating illusions, manipulating information, and sowing discord within enemy ranks. He advocates for tactics like feints, ambushes, and psychological warfare. The goal is to confuse and demoralize the enemy, making them vulnerable to attack. This controversial quote highlights the importance of outsmarting your opponent. Sun Tzu isn't advocating outright lies, but rather strategic manipulation to gain an advantage. 
Sun Tzu's ideas on deception are still relevant today. Modern warfare relies heavily on information control, cyber attacks, and psychological operations. In the business world, deception can take the form of strategic leaks, misinformation campaigns, or simply building a strong public image that masks your true intentions. Deception is essential in chess. You want your opponent to think you're going one way, then strike from another. It's all about creating a mental fog. Sun Tzu emphasizes the importance of adaptability. He warns against rigid plans, urging leaders to adjust to changing circumstances. Just as a river adapts to its surroundings, so too should an army. Leaders must be flexible, able to read the situation and react accordingly. Leadership is another crucial element. Sun Tzu outlines qualities of a good leader like discipline, knowledge, and the ability to inspire trust. This quote highlights the importance of secrecy and decisive action. A good leader keeps their plans hidden until the moment of attack, striking swiftly and with devastating force. Sun Tzu's ideas on leadership are timeless. Great commanders throughout history have understood the need for discipline, strategic thinking, and the ability to motivate their soldiers. In business, strong leadership means setting a clear vision, fostering a culture of collaboration, and making tough decisions when necessary. A good chess player needs to be a leader on the board. You have to guide your pieces, anticipate your opponent's moves, and be prepared to change your strategy if needed. The art of war has influenced military leaders for centuries. From Napoleon Bonaparte to Mao Zedong, its principles have shaped the course of history. Even in the modern age of high-tech warfare, Sun Tzu's ideas remain relevant. Leaders still grapple with deception, troop morale, and the importance of clear objectives. But the book's reach extends far beyond military applications. Its timeless wisdom is used by entrepreneurs, politicians, and anyone facing a competitive situation. The art of war is more than just a military manual. It's a philosophy for navigating conflict, a guide to outsmarting your opponents, and ultimately, a call for achieving victory with minimal cost. Sun Tzu reminds us that victory is not always about crushing your opponent. Sometimes, the greatest victory is the one that avoids conflict altogether. By understanding your enemy, adapting to the situation, and employing strategic thinking, you can achieve your goals without resorting to violence. So, the next time you face a challenge, remember the words of the master strategist. Perhaps, with a little Sun Tzu in your arsenal, you too can achieve victory on your own terms. <laughs>